hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing very well today i'm traveling on trans haryana expressway it starts from narnol and ends at ambala while traveling on this highway you would see there are lot of commercial vehicles because it's a commercial corridor and the reason for building this highway was to reduce traffic from nh8 earlier nh8 is connecting rajasthan haryana punjab himachal pradesh and some part of uttar pradesh but now with this highway you could do easily go to chandigarh and chandigarh has connectivity to himachal pradesh punjab and jammu kashmir as well so this way it is eliminating the traffic and reducing the travel time earlier if somebody is traveling from narnol to chandigarh it takes around 7 to 8 hours but now this time is reduced to 3 to 4 hours depending on your speed on this highway legal lim speed limit for personal vehicles is 100 km per hour and for commercial it is 80 km per hour it's an elevated highway so you won't be able to see any stray cows dogs on this highway with which there is very less possibility of accidents as everyone is traveling at high speed and if somebody is over speeding there are speed cameras out here so be careful while traveling on this otherwise you will get a ticket this highway is really smooth so you could expect a very good mileage on this because there are very le less exit points and you will you will be exiting at chandigarh if you are directly traveling towards it, that so which is uh, a good thing while traveling on this highway you should keep a few things in your mind as this highway is recently inaugurated precisely in 2022 so you won't be able to see a lot of hotels or restrooms although they are provisioned but all of them mostly of them are under construction a few are functional so please keep this thing in your mind and other thing is while you are traveling if there is a breakdown you should ex expect some delays because it will take some time to get you help so these things are i would say disclaimers that you should keep in your mind while traveling otherwise it's a really smooth highway and you would enjoy driving on this on this highway you can easily cruise at 100 km per hour while cruising you can enjoy the view of clouds and the open fields around the highway because it's uh, going through the agriculture land so you would see very less population you can easily cruise at high speed on this highway i try to answer all the doubts that comes in our mind while traveling if still there is a question in your mind reach out to me in comments i'll be happy to answer that i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to my channel stay tuned